click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we are going to discuss about introduction to rectifiers friends if we want to convert an ac voltage through dc voltage we need some devices that device is called rectifier so in other way a rectifier is an electronic device or we can say to be very specific a rectifier is a power electronic device that can convert an ac signal to a dc signal so let's see friends there are some terms which is very general to discuss about before we start talking about rectifier in detail so friends if i draw a very generic diagram of a rectifier this looks like this so friends remember one thing the rectification process is done only with the help of diodes so we will be discussing how a diode can convert an ac voltage to a dc voltage so friends if you can see in this diagram here that vpt is the production voltage or so any sinusoidal voltage and vst is the sine voltage or an ac voltage and this is the symbol of rectification so friends let's say vst be the input ac voltage to a rectifier and this is the symbolic representation of a rectifier now after let's say these are the two terminals after rectification we are giving the same voltage after rectification to the load load may be either r rl or rlc load so any load operation that we think it is good for our own application we can give that same amount of load now friends let's talk about some basic terminologies or some basic mathematical expressions that we need while we go through the rectifier application and while we go through the rectifier in detail so after rectification it becomes vdc vdc is the direct voltage or the dc voltage that we get after rectification and i have connected a load so that i want my dc supply to get connected to a load or i want a dc current now friends let's talk about some basic mathematical expression that we need before we go through the rectifier so let's say vdc as i mentioned earlier is the dc voltage after rectification now the mathematical expression of vdc is so friends i will explain you what this equation is all about the amount of dc voltage is given by let t be the time period of the supply let t be the time period of supply supply time period means what i want to say is let t be the time period of the sine wave now friends let vlt dt is the load voltage the voltage across the load so the total voltage will be equal to 1 divided by t in the integration integral vlt dt i mean if we integrate the load voltage from the time interval 0 to the entire time period we get the exact dc voltage so friends from here we can easily calculate vl will be equal to so friends we can easily calculate here where this be vl rms so the rms value of the load is equal to under root 1 over time and integral of vlt square dt and the limit of the integral would be from 0 to t and one more terminology that we need to understand which is called form factor so friends what do you mean by a form factor the form factor is nothing but the ratio of the load voltage to the dc voltage
So the ratio of the RMS value of the load voltage, here I have mentioned RMS to the DC voltage. So So friends, the form factor is defined as the load voltage divided by the DC voltage. So this is called form factor. So in the further calculation, when we go through in detail about the rectifier, we will be calculating the form factor, the DC value and the RMS value of the load. So friends, if we can all see the load current, let ILT be the load current. So ILT is mathematically defined as VLT divided by RL. Let this be equation number two. Now friends, the value of the DC current that is flowing through the circuit after rectification is given by the DC voltage divided by the load resistance. Here, I'm assuming the load to be a resistive load where the resistance is RL. So friends, these are some basic mathematical expressions that we need before we start talking about rectifier in detail. So friends, if we can see, what is efficiency? So for every rectifier, we need to calculate the efficiency. The so efficiency is mathematically given by So friends, the efficiency is given by PDC divided by PL plus PD. So where this is called eta, So friends, here PDC is the DC power that we get DC output power, PL be the power of the load and PD be the power loss because of the rectifier. As we all know friends, each and every rectifier has a resistances or has a internal resistance. So whenever electric current flows to the rectifier because of the internal resistances, there is a power loss. So we can easily say The power loss across a rectifier is equal to the resistance of the rectifier into the current flowing through the circuit square. Where Rd is the resistance of the rectifier. Now friends, let's talk about some other terms associated. So friends, let's talk about some other terms associated with the rectifier. Hence, if we calculated and solve all the equations, the final value of the efficiency of a rectifier will be given by So friends, here if you can see in this equation, the final value of eta, which is the efficiency, would be if I solve all the equation and put the values in the specific equations, I will get eta is V DC square divided by the RMS value of the load square. So where VL is equal to. So efficiency will be equal to V DC square divided by V load square into 1 divided by 1 plus RD divided by R well. Now if we further simplify. Eta will be equal to V DC divided by V load whole square, which will be equal to the inverse of the form factor square, where FF is the, just to summarize friends, the form factor that we initially calculated was VL RMS divided by V DC, where VL RMS is the RMS value of the voltage across the load divided by DC voltage, where the load current is this, VLT divided by RL, and we found the value of the DC current. And before that, if you can see here, we calculated the DC value and we also calculated the load voltage RMS value. And we put all these two values, VDC and VLRMS, 
this expression that means by putting the value of vdc and vl in the equation of the efficiency we found that the efficiency will be equal to this or the efficiency becomes this mathematical expression so we can block this so this is the final value of the efficiency of a rectifier now efficiency can also be written as the inverse of the form factor whole square so friends here in today's lecture we discussed about the basic mathematical expression associated with a rectifier and how the rectifier works thank you so much friends for watching this video please subscribe to ekeda and stay tuned with ekeda thank you so much